Starting an online business can totally feel like a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal. You might be thinking, how in the world am I gonna get enough attention and a big enough audience to actually start making money? And how long is it gonna take me to do that? You're probably looking at all your favorite YouTubers and other influencers with gazillions of followers and it all just seems so terribly daunting to even think about how you're gonna get started, let alone get to their level. Now the good news is that you don't need a million followers on social media, YouTube, or your email list to actually earn a solid living online. In fact, you only need about a thousand true fans. And today I want to break down the math around how you can do that without selling your soul to these fickle social media empires. Now this whole idea of a thousand true fans comes from an article by a dude named Kevin Kelly from way back in 2008. And I'll leave a link in the video description below if you wanna read through the actual article. I found this thousand true fans framework gives me a workable and totally achievable goal to aim at in the beginning. It takes what can seem like a completely overwhelming idea or goal and makes it totally doable. A thousand customers is a whole lot more feasible to aim for than a million fans. Millions of paying fans is not a realistic goal to shoot for, especially when you're first starting out. But a thousand fans is doable. You might even be able to remember a thousand names. If you added one new true fan per day, it would only take a few years to gain a thousand. Now, Kevin Kelly sets the table by outlining what this 1,000 true fans looks like. To be a successful creator, you don't need millions. You don't need millions of dollars, millions of customers, millions of clients, or millions of fans. To make a living as a craftsperson, photographer, musician, designer, author, animator, app maker, entrepreneur, or inventor, you only need thousands of true fans. A true fan is defined as a fan that will buy anything you produce. These diehard fans will drive 200 miles to see you sing. They will buy the hardback and paperback and audible versions of your book. They will purchase your next figurine, Sight Unseen. They will pay for the best of DVD version of your free YouTube channel. They will come to your chef's table once a month. If you have roughly a thousand of true fans like this, also known as super fans, you can make a living if you're content to make a living, but not a fortune. Here's how the math works. You need to meet two criteria. First, you have to create enough each year that you can earn on average $100 profit from each true fan. That is easier to do in some arts and some businesses than others, but it is a good creative challenge in every area because it's always easier and better to give your existing customers more than it is to find new fans. Second, you must have a direct relationship with your fans. That is, they must pay you directly. You get to keep all of their support, unlike the small percent of their fees you might get from a music label, publisher, studio, retailer, or other intermediary. If you keep the $100 of each true fan, then you only need about a thousand of them to earn $100,000 per year. And that's a living for most folks. This was the idea I followed when I started my first online business, Zero Debt Coach. I was in the personal finance space and in competition with guys like Dave Ramsey, Clark Howard, and Susie Orman to name the biggest players. This 1,000 true fans approach helped me to narrow my sights on serving a specific segment of those markets and really helped me to not feel overwhelmed at the prospect of who I was going up against. Now he says it best in this quote, the takeaway, a thousand true fans is an alternative path to success other than stardom. Instead of trying to reach the narrow and unlikely peaks of platinum bestseller hits, blockbusters, and celebrity status, you can aim for direct connection with a thousand true fans. On your way, no matter how many fans you actually succeed in gaining, you'll be surrounded not by faddish infatuation, but by genuine and true appreciation. It's a much saner destiny to hope for, and you are much more likely to actually arrive there. Oh, and two free resources that will help you get your online business, your 1,000 true fans started by laying out a step-by-step -step blueprint are one, my free start an online business quick start guide. It outlines this entire getting started process and goes into more depth on what we just covered today. And two, this video right here that walks you through these five five absolute non-negotiables your market must have if you really want to succeed in online business. So click right here and I'll see you in this video. I'm actually waiting for you over in this video right here.